Hey, what's up you guys? So today I'm doing another project pan update because I used something else up. So yeah, so for these past few like days, like this was like a really quick update, like like time-wise compared to like my last one. But I've barely been wearing any makeup because I've been like <laughs> dying from college. So what I used up was my witch hazel because even though I'm not really like I'm wearing makeup today but I haven't been doing a lot of makeup because of college and I'm stressed but I've been doing my skincare so I used up this whole thing of witch hazel so <laughs> I don't have a lot of progress on my other things um actually I do have um significant progress on my Clinique thing and my baby lips because those are like skincare things oh my gosh I forgot to mark everything hold on one second okay so here's my progress <laughs> I have another line like it's hard to see when the liquid is like right there but another little baby line of use of my watermelon body spray stuff I don't know I'm just like this is gonna take forever and I've just like come to terms with that <laughs> At home, like when I go home, I might put in another one, like keep this in, but just have another one so I can like switch them. But I have like a lot of like um, perfumes like this size, or not perfumes, body sprays, so they're like tiny and like they're not full, they're like halfway used or a little bit more than halfway used. So I feel like it'll be like quicker and easier to use up. So when I go home, we have more options of body products to use up. Okay, so next is my lotion, and I don't really even have progress to mark on this. I'm just tired of the scent, and I wasn't feeling lotion-y, so I didn't use it. I don't know, I just, like, wasn't in the mood, and I'm tired of the scent. And, like, the last thing I felt like doing after being stressed out from college was using a lotion that I didn't particularly care for the scent of. So, I don't have progress to mark, but... We're almost done. <sighs> okay, so the Clinique Hydrating Jelly. <laughs> I always forget what it's called. See, we made good progress just because I was just doing skincare, not really makeup, but we have good progress on that. So that's good. I'm also bored of this because it's like scentless. Like everything from Clinique is like scentless. So it's just like boring to me, but like we're almost done. Maybe like two or three more updates and we'll be done. Like just by looking at my progress, probably two or three more updates and this will be done and then it'll be out of my life. The only bad thing is I have two more of these. <laughs> like I reorganized my skincare the other day and I got two more. <laughs> These are not going to get used for like at least a month because I am not in the mood. <laughs> so, working on this. But it is good. Like this doesn't make my skin greasy because I have oily skin. So I'm always like scared of like trying new moisturizers because I don't know if they're going to like make me feel like greasy and like gross. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So this is really nice because... This doesn't make me feel, like, greasy and oily and, like, whatever. So, that's, like, a good thing about this that I really do like, is that it doesn't make my skin feel disgusting. Okay, then we have my powder. I'll pop up a picture of where we started so you can compare. I still feel like I need to scrape it out and repress it in the middle because I just feel like it's harder to, like, get on my brush because it's near the edges. But I just haven't felt like doing that because I'm stressed out from college. So, haven't done that. <laughs> okay, next we have this little eyeshadow. You can kind of see a dip. Like, you can see, like, the shadow of the dip. Like, am I crazy or can you, like, totally see, like, the shadow of the dip? So, I'm wearing it today on, like, my eyelids and my inner corners. That's, like, what I've been mostly doing, just putting it on, like, my inner corners, my brow bones. It's not on my brow bone today, but I've just been using it as, like, my inner corner color. I'm like, that's good. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but 
Right now, I'm not going for use this up. I'm going for hit pan. So I just want to like see the pan like you can see the pan on this. This I'm going for use up. But this I'm just going for hit pan in case I get like really super duper sick and tired of it. But if I hit pan and I'm not tired of it, I might keep it in and try to use the whole thing up. But otherwise, I'll roll it out once I hit pan and then at some later date roll it back in and try to finish the whole thing up. Anyways. Then we have my Elf Eye Primer. Still going. I wouldn't say strong, but still going. I don't know. I have to like scrape the sides every time and there's always some in there somehow. I don't know. I'm not getting too tired of this, but I don't know. I'm, I like, I don't know how there's still product in here. I'm just like confused. Okay, and then I couldn't mark this lip gloss. I have to like, just like scrape the sides. Like you can see like a big scrape, like there's like scrapes in multiple places where I'm just like scraping the applicator to get product on it. Because this is like basically done, but I'm scraping the sides to like get more lip gloss on it and get more out of it. But this is super close to being done. And then we have my Instant Age Rewind Concealer. There's nothing else to mark on this. Because I didn't wear enough makeup to have to roll it up. So, no progress on that. Um, and then my baby lips. Ah! I marked the line. So, we're super duper close. So, it's like, there's like, I don't know, a millimeter or two of like plastic applicator to like right here and then that's like it and then I'll have to like scoop it out and then just use the rest in like a container or something was that all my things yes okay so the thing we're rolling in is an eyeshadow and I know I like said I didn't want come in Are you filming? Yes. We brought you tea things. Okay. So I know I said I didn't want to like initially put in eyeshadow. Like I put this in because it like you could put any eyeshadow on and then just throw this on as like your inner corner highlight or your brow bone highlight or whatever. So I was like, so that's like easy and like whatever. And I didn't want to get like tired of like a color, for example. I don't know. But I did this makeup look in my, it was a video I did where I was in the car and I was talking about like my, like getting a therapist and my old therapist and like whatever. And I was like, I like send the video like, oh, I like my eyeshadow look or something because it was like fall. I also love my eye makeup today. Just like, it seems like fall. So since I'm in the mood for fall, I was like, all right, let's put in another eyeshadow, a fall type eyeshadow. And we're just aiming to hit pan, not use the whole thing up. So I'm putting in this pan. It's like a deep potted pan. I think it's from City Color, but I'm not sure. But I've used this kind of a lot. Like, it has a dip. I don't know if you can, like, really see the dip. But it has, I don't know, a pretty good dip. So I feel like that should keep me motivated because I'm already, like, part of the way there. It's not like this is, like, a brand new eyeshadow and I'm trying to hit pan. But, like, for example, like, I could do the eyeshadow look I'm wearing right now like with these two like easily maybe a third deeper to just like deepen the outer corner so like what I would do is take this orangey shade and put it in my outer corner my crease and under my lash line and then take this and put it on my lid in my inner corner maybe my brow bone so I'm putting this orangey one in in hopes that I won't get too sick of it and I'll just be like "Ooh, fall fall makeup I want to do that like that's my hope so, easily go together 
and make a cute fall makeup look. So that's what I'm doing for this update. I know I was thinking of doing like putting my mascara or the, these, not that one, these Trustique sticks or this Tarte thingamabobber in there, but I picked a fall themed eyeshadow instead because I feel like that's just what I'm in the mood for. So, there you go. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. This wasn't like my best update by far, but I did still make progress on like the body spray, the witch hazel, the baby lips, and the Clinique stuff. So I made progress on like all my skincare things, except the lotion, but I'm so tired of that lotion. Oh my gosh. So, at least I made progress on like half-ish of my items so. so leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed comment down below which items I should throw in for my next update like the blush the highlighter the lip thing or a mascara or maybe I'll surprise you guys and just throw in something random and make sure to hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications and I will see you guys in the next video bye